Next up on Haller for an Hour, we have The Beast Inside. This game appears, from what I understand, to be based on a book by the same name. Uh, it is a survival horror game that had quite a good look to it. Uh, and I'm kind of very much intrigued by this. Obviously, as evidenced by an earlier Haller game we played today, I'm quite picky with horror games, and I... <laughs> I kind of have some decently high standards as far as what I consider a good horror game. This game looks like it might actually meet those. So let's check out The Beast Inside. But first, of course, if you like this video, do give it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, give me a sub. It really does help. What helps even more is come by my Twitch. You can see content early, hang out with me, interact, and of course, help me to get towards partner which will just kind of overall increase all my content and the quality of it. So start helping out in that regard. Aside from that, we also have a pretty cool Discord community with a lot of cool people you can check out. But in any case, let's go ahead and begin. Hmm, definitely level. Adventure for those who want to so story, standard, balance mix, puzzles and action, beast, do what bigger, I'll do standard. Standard sounds good. Chapter one, the beginning. Also, I did notice the occasional drop frames. If you guys notice a significant number of drop frames, uh, like it's not kind of stop it, it's kind of been here and there today. But if you guys notice a significant amount of drop frames, let me know. I'll adjust the bit rate. But ideally, we don't do that because this is a game that would benefit from the higher bit rate. I'll only do it if it gets bad. Where, where am I? Why are you stalking us? Is this about Adam's work? What do you want from us? Why are you tormenting our family? No! Adam! Oh, no. No, what have you done to Adam? Oh, God. War calls for casualties. No, there is no war. We're just a, we're just a regular family. You hear me? We just wanted to live our life. And you've ruined everything. Pictures, bugs, threats. And now you've killed me. Stay away! Don't! They already know about you. They've been watching the house. They won't let you. Hush. No! What are you doing? What are you doing? I am sitting the front. Hmm, kind of went for her shoulder. Is this a sound check or a cutscene it's supposed to be playing? Uh, yeah? Oh, your Twitch broke, okay. I appreciate the subtitles are automatically on. I didn't set those as on. I like it when subtitles are automatically on. It's nice in case you miss something or, you know, especially good for videos too. I know a lot of YouTubers that actually turn them off though for their videos, which is kind of weird to me. I think it would make, make, make it more accessible for the viewers, but that's a nice car. A bit old, but a nice car. Here we go, the more doubts I have. It will be challenging, true. But it was you who kept saying you'd like oh. to get away from the Ooh. city. Feel the call go on. Foilage test! Forests are great to test a frame rate. <laughs> I'll have to adjust that a bit. Actually, no, it's running fine. It was just loading. We don't know the day or the hour. Very funny. Like, we don't hear enough about nuclear threats in the media. That's what I'm talking about. If I don't break the code, this country would be like a basket full of nuclear mushrooms. It seems to be running fine. Just had a little trouble loading, loading here and there. But then again, this shack will fall down on us before Brezhnev's boys launch their first missiles. It's no shack. It's a present from your parents, and you should appreciate it. I appreciate shacks. Take a look. That's kind of big for a shack. It looks even better than the photos. Very boxy. I know houses are generally boxy, but like it's very well, our boxy. Stuff made it here before us. And those lazy movers didn't even bother waiting for us. That's okay. We can bring it all in ourselves. Yeah, meaning I toil away while you give orders from the shower. We still have a kind of fun dynamic. Voice acting's good. Three-hour drive and we're finally here. The place seems peaceful. 
and quiet. Well, they help me to focus on those damn telegrams to decipher. If, if, if the... don't just stand there. Those boxes won't carry themselves in. Update. The place seems peaceful and quiet until Emma showed up. <laughs> Let me know if the voice acting's too quiet. I could turn up the sound a bit more. This is survival horror, so it wouldn't be a bad thing to trip. Oh. Ooh, okay. Yeah, let's 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 mess with the settings a bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. The pan around the forest trick is always a good way to test your frame rate. Forests are great for testing frame rates, because they're really intensive, usually. Again, I have upgraded my computer, but this is also a high-fidelity game, from what I understand, so it seems fairly high so far. We'll go ahead and just lower everything to medium. See how that looks. I mean, I definitely lowered the quality a bit, but I think that's fine. Honestly, moving trees are some of the most intensive objects in video games. Like when they rustle and stuff. That's since every tree is moving. This is acceptable. This is acceptable. Um, all the grass, too. Yeah, so we won't see this game in maximum fidelity. I'm sorry. I was able to buy a new computer, and it's really good. But it's not top of the line. It's not, like, you know, top, top, top is of the linest. So I'm sorry I wasn't able to buy a top of the like maybe maybe in a few years. Maybe maybe when we upgrade again we can get something top of the line. Also I don't see the game stopping me from just wandering off, so maybe I will. That's a lot of moving that's an unnecessary number of moving trees. <laughs> My old computer would basically catch on fire if it was trying to run this game. Again, given how many movie trees I have, I'm happy to have this on medium and have it running well, so. I am a little annoyed at the popping of vegetation, but it really doesn't matter. I don't have time for river rafting now. Yay. Oh. Also, we don't exactly have a raft, but. Also, given how many trees are moving, this is a good frame Should rate. Should I leave Emma and run away in the woods? Nah, don't think so. I need to go back. <laughs> like his reaction. Oh yeah, by the way, it does sound it sound is a bit quiet. Let me turn it up a bit. Let's do uh oh. Alright, max sound is maxed here. That's fine. Let's give you guys a boost in the X split. Here's a new volume for you. I boosted it a little bit over one level. Okay. Where else can I just run off and not do my responsibilities to? Where did it lead to? What other secrets does this place hide? Um, it seems to lead to rocks, but okay. <laughs> That's such a matter of fact. I have found a secret. Wonder what this. Wonder what is here. <laughs> oh, really? Sequence break, sequence break, sequence break, sequence break, sequence break! Seriously though, why can't you just grab that letter and pull it down? It's, that, that does, it looks pretty easy. Uh, Emma wanted me to take the boxes inside. <laughs> I'd rather jump repeatedly against a rock than carrying boxes. Moving sucks. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's, let's, we'll come back to that later. Seek mysterious... See, that's a shack! I think. Actually, it kind of looks like a shrine. No point going there. Okay. I mean, there might be a point. Certainly no point right now. Your PC is really strong. It's a high-end one for sure. Honestly, yeah, this is a pretty damn good computer. Especially with how smartly it was built. It was a smartly built computer. Like, instead of spending tons and tons and tons of money on, like, top-of-the-line parts, we instead spent a much more reasonable amount of money on slightly under top-of-the-line parts, basically. And it was honestly a good investment and a good use of money. It was very smart. Like I said. <laughs> Let's 
Wow, there's all sorts of stuff. What's over here? Climbs are hard. Not so hard as to jump off the bridge. Uh, don't be a wuss. You can easily jump this, or if if you if you don't feel caught to jump, you just grab the rope and kind of half jump, half swing. That's easy. What's over there? It's like another building over there. It's all sorts of stuff around here. I, I faced right through that earlier tree. <laughs> Apparently the little branch trees you can just go right through. Fair enough. Foliage is hard to design in video games because it can be really obnoxious if you don't... There's no time for that. I've got work to do at home. There's all sorts of places to go. Look at all these different, like, places to go. There's a lot of places to go. I appreciate that. I have no idea what this object is for. This looks like a gun rack, but that's not a place to put guns outside just like that. Whee. Oh god. <laughs> and then I impelled myself on a fence post. <laughs> well, not only did we get a match, but we got like several surrounding buildings as well. Also, yes, I do realize that the game just like clear mountain spring. The water must be ice cold. How many? I hope that the uh, ex the exploit feed like pause for a second. I don't know if that was a pause for you guys though. That was not a frame drop. That was not even a drop for me. Exploit just did a weird. I'm not really sure if that weird existed for you guys or it was just on the preview. Yeah, yeah, the boxes. I get it. <laughs> yeah, did you guys just see a drop or was it a? Actually, hold on a minute. I just realized there's something I could do that's really economical. There we go. Hopefully, okay, so... Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, game, relax. It's fine. Whoa, the game... Definitely just act, started acting weird for some reason. Uh, you know what? I think I know why. I have a hunch. Is it because of all the objects in the house and I approached them? I approached the house so I had to load all the house stuff. <laughs> Is that why that happened? Press tab to check the voice recorder. Okay, so in case I need to... Gotta get those boxes inside. Yeah, boxes. We got... <laughs> I read the box that said kitchen cutlery and I thought it said kitchen celery. I'm like, wow, they have a lot of celery. <laughs> I should put the box on the table upstairs. Guess it probably helps to. Wow, this place is a wreck. All right, I mean, table upstairs, huh? Yeah, I think the ironically enough, the whole dropping more frames thing. Is that, is that where you want it? It's a kitchen box. I don't know why I'm putting it upstairs. Oh God. Was by by the way, speaking of avalanches, uh, right now is this? What are you guys seeing right now? <laughs> issues or no issues? Ironically enough, I think me worried about issues caused issues. <laughs> You're seeing slideshow. That's why I thought. All right, you know what? That's fine. Let's play this a bit more. We're going down, baby. All the way. Just to see something. I wonder if it's, uh... Hmm. Could it be the V-Sync? Can V-Sync... V-Sync can break things sometimes. How you feeling now, Gabe? Still doing it. Okay, I feel like the objects of the house are causing some sort of issue. <laughs> Can't say for sure, but... Let me turn off V-Sync and see if that helps us. Let me go outside again for a second. Hold on. This game is behaving very oddly. Alright, you know what? I got a plan. It's all good. I didn't want to have to do this, but... It's alright. It's fine. 
There's always ways to fix issues. I hope. <laughs> really? Still slideshow? God damn it. It is also possible this game just has poor performance. Let me restart the game real fast. The house... Yeah. I'm feeling as if the house was like... Uh, it possesses a lot of objects. The game loads the objects. The game freaks out. Is what I feel like happened here. But let me restart the game. Let me restart the game. Actually, there's a very simple thing with 3D games, with 3D objects, especially when you have a cluttered house. There's two ways to clutter a house, and there's two ways to handle the performance of it. One way is that each object you place individually as its own individual model, like you place, say, a water bottle on a table, and the table and a water bottle and the water bottle are two different objects. Or you place all the objects however you want, and then you me merge their models together. If they don't need to move, the objects can be merged together into one model, and suddenly that helps performance immensely. So when we walk up to the house on all the clutter causes his leg, that indicates to me that any uh, fixed objects should probably have been merged into the same model to save on performance, but probably work. But that's okay. <laughs> Whatever. Also, only render what's in the FOV. I could tell the game was doing some of that, but not dedicating itself to it. So, I have optimized the game. So, if it's still slideshows, uh, I'm sorry. I've done what I can. Well, so I'm just going to look around the house. It definitely seems a slideshow in here. See, it makes sense to some degree because I can pick up objects. So obviously these can't be meshed into the model. Because I can move them. Wait a minute, I got an idea. Here's the trick, guys. We just pick up all the items and we shove them to a core of the forest, right? And then we come back and then there's a lake. <laughs> That's the trick. <laughs> I see a metal pipe we can use for fighting. That could work. Uh, theoretically, probably would, but also would take a while. Probably not actually worth it. I have to pick things up one by one, after all. I kind of feel like this game is doing a lot of unnecessary performance hitting things. Like, for instance, why the fuck could I do this with the windows? I mean, it's kind of neat, but... Also, why is lit every single tree moving in the wind, every single blade of grass moving in the wind... All this fur all this movable stuff that doesn't really need to be moved. Like, yes, I could pick up this box. Box full of cash. Uh, I'm just gonna take this. <laughs> like, okay, you know, like, is there a point? I wonder if there's actually a point to moving things. Because I feel like a lot of these objects are interactable for no real reason. Oh, okay, not for these. It's okay, boils. We'll endure. We'll press forward. I guess this one I'm going to half blame on my computer. I'm going to half blame on the game. I could half blame on the computer because, again, I'm not, I don't have a top of the line system. That being said, what I have is a very reasonable system for the current day. So in other words, if the game designers have not accounted for a system like mine, they're not accounting for a reasonable system, basically. <laughs> It's not a nightmare, even if it looks like one. A thinking woman's guide to pregnancy. It's not a nightmare, are you sure? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. holy shit. I didn't mean to throw that, but okay. <laughs> Fuck the pregnancy book, apparently. It is forever outside of my reach. I hope we didn't need that. <laughs> 
So here, most people don't have to... That's the thing. Top of the line is, uh... Not the best thing to design your game for. Like, it's nice if you can add some extra features for top of the line. You know, like having some high settings that people can enjoy if they have that, but... Hmm. Mom's better child here, but she never talked about much. Glad she thinks this is where Emma and I should settle down. Can't imagine raising a kid in Boston these days. South Carolina is our family for many decades. Some even called it Stevenson's Refuge. But when you, me and my dad and your dad you moved to Boston, we thought Grandpa's just going to sell it. I said he would. Well, he didn't. Surprisingly, he left it for us as will. And now you and your lovely wife will live here, raise your kids, and simply enjoy life far away from the turmoil of our dangerous time. You, you're just going to order us to do that, huh? <laughs> I can't even imagine a better place to settle down. Take care of Emma. We'll visit you sometime next month if my aching hip allows that. Mom. P.S. Dad thinks he should be the one to come up with a name for your son and daughter. I have no idea what he's insisting on that. Maybe he's just getting old and tries to leave some kind of legacy. Anyways, act surprised when he mentions to you. Okay. Now oh, we can keep it. How nice. Charm 0% on your computer. Yours is far above the minimum requirements for this game according to Steam page. So it's all in the, it's all in the game. All right, fair enough. It could also be because I'm streaming it. That's always a you can always consider that a factor, because it is true that uh, you know streaming a game that does hit performance a bit. But I I generally have learned XSplit pretty well at this point to say that the performance hit it does should be small enough that drastic difference. If if I meet the minimum requirements for a game and I'm still seeing huge amounts of lag, that's not just XSplit. <laughs> That being said, aside from that issue, this game seems pretty good so far. I mean, it's, in its defense, it's not like crashing my computer or anything. It's just lagging. Oh, give me a minute as I open every drawer in this fucking house. I have an inventory, so... I'm sure there's some stuff I can get. Okay, if I move slowly, that, then the slideshow aspect of you, what you guys are seeing doesn't even matter. Also, I didn't remark on this earlier, but Puppo. I would totally hang up this picture in my actual room. I like this. Hi, creature. Himble Brimble Gambo. Um, yes. The answer is yes. That was a question, right? Either that or a magical spell. I can't tell which. Resident Evil vibes. Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of the vibes this game gave me, too, to some degree. Hmm. Shiny desk. Sorry I had to turn all the settings down, but it probably does help a bit. Even with all the settings down, it still looks pretty good, which actually might be a bad thing. Batteries. If I know my survival games, batteries are generally very important, so I'll have to keep track of that. I mean, how many times do you need batteries for flashlights, after all? Most of these doors are locked. There's too many- there's just a lot of clutter in here, so I'm not surprised this house is causing a slideshow. I bet, uh, once we leave the house, because... The house is most certainly not indicating it to be- Like, I know game design well enough to know that this house, it's for- it's for chill it out, looking around. Once the game picks up, because I know this game picks up, I know it has- It has action, has gunplay. Pretty sure we won't be doing it here. And I say that because, well, it just doesn't seem designed for that. So once we actually get to that part of the game, I bet things will run better because we won't be here. I paid those bastards to the vet, so of course I didn't even bother to take those boxes to the attic. Can't trust anyone these days. Simon Sons Movie Services. 22 August 1979. Oh, that's what year we're in. I thought so with that car, like it was maybe 70s. Customer name and contact, Anna Stevenson. Boston May, Windmill Street 7, delivery address, Blackstone 13, New Hampshire. So we moved from Massachusetts to New Hampshire. 670 USD. Ouch, that's expensive for 1979. General overview of work. Transportation of 8 to 10 boxes, 30 pounds each, plus furniture, plus some equipment to move home, to home improvements, renovation, 170 miles one way. Uh, yeah, that does seem a big expense, especially since they didn't help the unloading. I'll take this. I'm sure this receipt will become very important later. Um, okay. Yeah, all the chime bits about. There's just a lot of. The trees were overkill, the clutter is overkill. 
This is a developer that... Oh, priceless uh, baby uh, Cupid statue thing. Toss. <laughs> I made a lot of clicky noises. It's like a kid's room, actually. Or maybe just a really small bed. A pole hook for lowering the attic stairs. Cool, I didn't even notice we had an attic. Yeah, there's, there's smarter ways you could indicate a bunch of clutter without... Without causing this much... She's literally taking a shower. He was right. Hey, you can unload, right? I'm gonna go take a shower immediately. How's the water in this place? It hasn't been lived in for a while. Hmm. You might want to run the pipes for a while. To be fair, how often do you look up? Not too often. Also, let's... Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, key. A lot of steps to this attic. <laughs> Both literally and figuratively, when you think about it. <laughs> Alright, so, instead of place this on the table. Did I explain which table? Is this... It... It's, actually, let's, let's, let's check my notes. Put the box on a table upstairs. Okay, I guess then there. <laughs> Said a table, so not the table. <laughs> it is a table upstairs that I am placing the box on. What? What? Do you said there's a shiny table? You mean this one? Oh. Okay. Time to paint the walls. I think there's some paint in the attic. I brought one out of our ten boxes inside. That's enough. <laughs> Actually, five boxes, but... Fuck it, I'm... Whoa, God. <laughs> the leg was confusing me. That works. It's under the table. That works, too. <laughs> Um, excuse me. Oh, goodness. Okay, so they want me to get in the attic to paint something. I don't know. What is this guy's priorities? I need to move the boxes in. Move one box. Now I need to paint. <laughs> if, if his idea of moving boxes in is moving one out of the five boxes in, then his idea is painting. is like he's going to do like three strokes against the wall and say, this wall is painted. <sighs> Meanwhile, like, you know, nine-tenths of it is still just unpainted. But he's like, I painted the wall. <laughs> it's like... Okay, so, oh no, not another, uh, listen, we went from a really low budget horror game to a high budget horror You're game. Are kidding me? Fuck. Tom, the baby hears everything, even in the womb. How the fuck did so you hear us? Great agent, just like dad. Honey, I can't get in the goddamn attic without a key. Check the dining room, it should be in a drawer. See, this how, there you go. Actually tell me how to fuck to find something. Wait, I thought I already checked all the drawers. As if there was one. I can't find it in the dining room. Oh, sorry. I, I guess I didn't get it from the trunk. Oh, <sighs> typical. All right. What else is in here? Ooh, did we get pizza? We got Pizza Brothers pizza. Damn it, now I'm hungry. Shit. Why do games have to do this to me? <laughs> They show me food, and then like, I want food. <sighs> food, that's the thing I want. That's a key. I know something. There we go. <laughs> Holy shit. You can't, uh, you can't normally open this, but I had to use a box lid and I could open it. It's kind of an unnecessary amount of clutter when you think about it. It's, it's not really efficient. Like, this cooler I could barely open has all these objects I can pick up and throw. Why? 
What what value? If they just sat in there and I couldn't pick them up, that would be fine too. I don't. I don't think this is necessary. Okay, how many objects are in this cooler? <laughs> The yeah, answer's a lot. Get food, then the chat is full of it. I mean, you're right. Okay, time to close the truck. This is how this is how everybody closes their trunk, right? Okay, there. Oh, right, the lid. <laughs> It's like wonder what the fuck. <laughs> there we go. Let's try that again. There we go. God, I do apologize for the frame rate. Oh god, it got really bad for me too. Um, all right, let's let's get in the attic. Let's advance this plot. Let's get to. Oh my. Oh goodness me. Why is it getting worse over time? Is this memory leaking? I'm in the attic. Where there's probably even more clutter. Uh, if I close this, does that make all the clutter behind me? Like, see, right now, I close that. So theoretically speaking, all the clutter down there should not be adding to things, technically. That's a suspiciously ominous door for an addict to have. It's okay, guys. We'll live through this. Oh, my God. I jump scared myself with a chair. And that is called a physics glitch. <laughs> Since you probably couldn't tell, I basically kicked the chair really fast by just walking into it and just like it went flying. I was like, okay. <laughs> That's a couple figurines. Rotate to find hidden messages. Okay. Where did they belong to? Grandma or someone else? Huh. Investigation system. The game is not unloading anything. No, it's just stacking. That's probably what's going on here. It's loaded. Like, when I was running around the forest, everything was fine. Angel, looks like he's sleeping. He might as well be dead. Poor guy. That was rough enough. How long has it been laid here? For like a century? Right. Secrets? Gotta look at the butt. So I must have hit him really hard to make his legs fall off. Wait, is that blood or paint? Yes. <laughs> Let me go to the addict's addict. The attic has an attic. <laughs> Alright. Crowbar. This crowbar should come in handy. Yes. It shall. I, I can't... I can't... Um... Well, I'm walking on the beam now. God, the frame rate is just dipping, dipping, dipping. <laughs> also, I can't, for some reason, actually stand up here, and I don't know why. Did, did they want me to access this, or am I just being stupid? Oh, yeah, crouch. That's right. That's a, that's a useful button. There's nothing else besides an X there. All right. I saw crowbar this door or something. Actually, what am I doing in here? Paint, right? Paint. Found paint. Paint cutscene. Damn it. Hmm, what's that? More butterfinger protagonists. Hey, what's blank. this? Someone's hidden something under the floor. Yes. Uh. Attempting to figure out how crowbars work. Hold on. What could it be? There we go. <laughs> Hope it's not great grandpa's porn mags. Vintage porn is interesting. Also, by the way, if you're wondering, I, I, I'm now on the I'm on the table. I, I was spawned on top of the table after picking that up. All right. Oh, oh goodness me, the roof. All right. Um, if you're wondering, we bear we have dropped some frames today. But most of this is not drop frames. This is has nothing to do with drop frames. 
An excerpt from Julius Caesar's commentaries on the Gallic War. I remember this from my Latin classes. Some letters look different than others. JC's Julius Caesar's initials. <laughs> Goddamn code breaker. Wait, but, isn't that what I do for a living? But why did someone write that they were equal? J equal J equals C. J equals C. Okay. Hmm. Examination mode is on. You can perform digital interactions with certain objects. Okay. Sounds good. This device will help me decode the letters in the text. Will it? I have to break the cipher to open the box. Oh, I think I understand. Uh, so, what? Are, how many, wait, how many characters are we looking for? We're looking for five characters. Also. Darn. <laughs> I noticed that by default it was almost spelling the word fatty, so I wanted to make it spell. There, it's fatty. There. Alright, so I think we combine the cipher of the page together, put it on top, something like that. Uh, notes. Cipher on parchment. Yes. I have that. And I'd like to use the cipher on it, if I may. I mean, J equals C. I don't know what that means, actually. Hmm. All right, well, let's uh, look at the note. MHPAO. Well, that's the same number of characters. All right. MHPAO. 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 Had to write that down. Line up the inner circle so J and C. Oh, that makes sense. I can move both. I, for some reason, didn't realize I could move both. Fair enough. Wait. Oh, yeah. I can. Well, I can, the fact that I can move one is enough, actually. But. All right. Okay, now that I've done that. So now I do. I just match up. So F. A, the code is fatty. F A, I, it's faith, isn't it? F A I, T, H, faith. Grandpa was religious. Oops, that was already on the right character. Antique key. What would you unlock of it? Probably the door right to our right. <laughs> I saw a book. Property of Nicholas. It is September 27th in the year of our Lord, 1864. Evening. Almost. Oh. What? Just gonna fade out while he reads that, I guess. Okay. Oh, are we going to time skip back to 1864 now? Alright, oh, that's really. It's kind of the opposite of a time skip. The time unskip? <laughs> Have your word padlock here should be a word is bad security. Well, to be fair, physical security in a house where in an attic, I suppose it'd be fine. But I don't know why you'd need to create a cipher. For something that simple. Well, we are loading chapter two, which makes me go, yay, we're going to have the frames back, I think. <laughs> no way. <laughs> really? Um, this.
The fact it took you that the fact it took you guys that long to respond to the crash reporter indicates to me that literally everyone had their streams pass out. All people figure out they can reload. So a crash will try to load chapter two. Gee, I wonder what could have caused that. I don't know. Maybe all the clutter building up fucking memory issues. Hmm. Let me actually check something. Damn it, I this game looks interesting. Could I get to it? The part where it gets interesting. I mean, I hit chapter two, so technically we hit a checkpoint, right? The problem is if you gotta reload to fix the, the stream for something, that means there's gonna be tons of people that don't reload, think their stream is broken, and quit. Like, quit watching. Which sucks. Right, let's just load chapter two. Because I bet you anything is going to be fine now. Because all the clutter and stuff. I haven't loaded it. Chapter 1's clutter and everything. See, it's fine. Chapter 1's clutter hadn't been loaded, so Chapter 2 loaded up just fine now. Because we restarted the game. I restarted the game, unloaded the clutter, which is the only thing that unloaded the damn clutter. Even while I was loading Chapter 2, Chapter 1's clutter slash memory loss slash, you know, memory intensity, that was still there. It didn't really unload Chapter 1's clutter before trying to load Chapter 2. Or either that or crash trying to unload the clutter, perhaps. And also, it loaded very quickly. Anyways, and look, I bet it's we have our phrase back, right? In the year of our Lord, 1864. Okay, I think so. Almost night. Never before have I kept a diary, but they say that it might be a chance for me to reclaim the memories I have lost. Besides, writing entails a clarity of thought makes it easier to distinguish facts from imagination. I'm home again after 10 years absence. I'm relieved to find the house unscathed. That's good. It's the only roof I have over my head for now. I should light some candles and take a look around. Do I have to look around the house again? No trace of my father. Did I honestly think he would welcome me at the door? He vanished a decade ago, without so much as leaving a letter. This is a sort of guy... It feels strange, even though it has not changed one bit. There are fears creeping out of the darkness whose source I cannot define. But memories will come back. That's what they told me. Maybe then I will realize what happened to my father. And what happened to me. Do you done monologuing? Can I talk now? Okay, cool. <laughs> this is a perfect time to say the statement I was going to say. This is the sort of guy who tries to write down half the things he says because he thinks it's going to be like a really like enlightening poem that he could write later. <laughs> Birds. All right, um... Let me guess the house. Unfortunately, now I gotta look around because there's actually things to pick up, so. Yeah? This is again? I've already looked at this before. It's not broken this time, though. One thing we could try, because that might be actually a big brain move. Since we might be leaving the house in a bit, what I could do is just, like, low last checkpoint. I don't know when the game checkpoints, but if the game is obviously checkpoint, we have frame drops happening. Pyrite mine. Hmm. Cool. I'd rather just focus on the game, but, of course, it has to run like this. Now, granted, this is an Unreal game. I probably could mess with its settings in the config file, but quite honestly, I hate being arsed to do that just to make a game run. I've done it before, especially on my older computer where I felt like it was more fair for me to exert the effort, but it's not a bad match. But on my better computer, I feel less inclined to do that sort of effort. 
I feel less inclined to dig into the config file and see what else I can lower. I'm capable of it, but it does take time and it's, it's boring, especially in the middle of a stream. Also, wow, that's how long this match lasts? Well, I guess it is just a match, but... It's dark in here. I'll light the candles. That's a good idea. Especially if you could open the fucking... Ooh. Old lamp. Oh, cool. I have a limited amount of fuel, but I'll take it. I don't know why the game's making me inspect these. Yeah, we saw those objects in the previous area. That's nice, but I don't know why I'm picking them up here. Uh, ferret. Possibly a weasel. Possibly something else. Um, let's see here. Let's leave these open so I remember I opened it. Uh... I should light the candles. What candles? I'm looking for candles. Again, though, all this unnecessary stuff I can move for no reason. <laughs> I don't... I mean, it's great. I can make a mess of things. It's a lot of fun, but, like, it's not really vital. <laughs> Look for candies. I like candies. Land preemption contract, hereby certified, pursued, blah, 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 blah. I can't read this. It's boring. Governmental shit. Okay, cool. <laughs> I cannot stand legal writing. The land is owned by somebody who says this bill, basically. <laughs> there, I summarized it. Umbrella. Fine art. I had to close all the drawers just to walk up to the table and see if there's anything in the box. Oh, uh, well. Lamp seems to last a pretty decent amount of time. What's this? My father's stinking artifact. That's rude. What are we looking for? Oh. I tried to smoke it once. Unfortunately, my father wanted to found out and made me smoke a cigar if I want to act like an adult. I vomit all night and never touch that pipe again. Smoke gets bad, so technically that was a good thing. Also, throw. Uh, okay, that's blocked. Oh, I can move this. That makes life a little easier. You might need a lit match. It's too dark. I need to light more candles. Yeah, I know, but like, where are the candles? Where I I'll light a match, sure, but where the fuck's the candles? What does What does a candle look like? You think this would be very obvious, but where the fuck are the candles? Oh, there's candles right here. <laughs> Found them. I'm sorry. He talked. He talked every time I walked up to this. So I was looking for a candle on this. God damn it. <laughs> I was misdirected. These candles aren't really doing that much. What's that sound? It's fine. Let's light more candles. Upstairs. What could it be? A raccoon. We'll check in a minute. Oh. Wait, those candles, though. Can't light them. Uh -huh. Hello, Mr. Raccoon. I'm lighting candles. I'll be with you in a second. Actually, who lit that candle? That wasn't me that lit it. How's it going out here? Ooh. I like this too. Apparently not. 
I can, however, waste matches by hitting X repeatedly. It's doing it again, guys. The whole, you know... The whole clutter is building up thing, it's doing that again. That's a right, that's a right damn shame. I'm actually pretty intrigued by this game, but it has to do this, huh? It doesn't run completely well for me either, but you guys are actually seeing a much worse... You're seeing a much worse, uh... Presentation... ...than what I see. But what I see is not perfect either. Oh, there's lights over here. And the bridge's not broken. Oh, no, it is broken. This bridge has been broken for hundreds of years. <laughs> Need more efficient- they just... I mean, again, the trees, guys. Not that you can tell with this frame rate, but they're all moving, too. Again. They're- they're... <sighs> if- they have- technically speaking, they have a fair amount of settings here. But unfortunately, there's no settings to control the movement of objects, dynamic lighting, and how clutter is built up and such. So not only could they do better unloading and loading of objects, specific, especially on the unloading aspect, but beyond that, they could definitely offer some quality settings for stuff that just doesn't fucking matter. Does it matter that the trees are waving in the wind? Not really. Does it affect the performance? Yes. That's the thing. That's the thing I always complain about with game developers. A lot of them don't seem to consider um, gain for loss. And what I mean by that is, what do you gain by having this feature that makes your game a little more pretty? I can hear some tapping upstairs. It's very impressive considering I'm actually stuck in a tree. How are you hearing upstairs right now? No, seriously, I might actually be stuck in a tree. Oh, barrels. Oh no, I've fallen victim to a barrel. That's why I'm stuck. <laughs> well, it seems like a good time to, uh, Exit and restart the game so we get the frames back. Especially since I'm stuck in a fucking barrel. By the way, even on the title screen. Oh, yeah. It's even on the title screen. So if the game does build up load and leg, it never unloads that until you literally close the game. The only way for that to be actually unloaded is for the game to be turned off. Until then. It stays loaded, from what I can tell. Because even with the title screen, didn't fix it, so. <laughs> and we have a limited amount of matches, yes, that's why there's a number next to the matches. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a, it's a... <sighs> this happens way too often in games. Developers will go, I want this pretty effect, and it adds absolutely nothing to the gameplay. It's purely cosmetic. And that can be good for atmosphere at times, I'm sure. But they add this intensive effect. And then, for those without top of the line Stairs. systems, what could it be? It, it kills it. It kills the game for those people. They cannot play the game. The gameplay is ruined because of dynamic lighting or dynamic shadows or because all the trees are fluttering in the wind or stuff like that. It just feels like such a waste, you know? It's like, okay, so you made the game look a little bit prettier for those that can run it and your cost was now some people can't run it. Was that really worth it? So many developers se seem to say the answer is yes to that and I don't understand. Personally, I would focus on performance over um, that sort of thing, but most of uh, quite a few developers seem to be focused on the window was bolted shut. that graphics at the expense of you know playability. I don't understand it. Can you light the chandelier? I guess I can. Probably. I don't, I don't know. Actually, have not tried. All right, let's. Uh... Kind of feels like I'm on a time limit. Like after a certain amount of time passes, the game just gets unplayable again. At least it checkpointed fairly uh, uh, nicely, but.
Oops. At least our dad kept a lot of matches? Oh my god, yeah, look, I mean... I mean, thank god that every... Oh, now most of them are. Just such an unnecessary amount of clutter. Does it, Look, the books do nothing. Do I need to be able to move them? Not really. And even when I'm thinking about it, like, even when I'm thinking about, like, clutter in video games, Skyrim had a lot of clutter. It didn't run badly. Despite... Despite the memes you can say about Bethesda games and how they run, and including Skyrim, I don't feel like the clutter bothered Skyrim that much. Maybe his father was also a moth. Maybe? Oh, I can light... Oh, I can light candles even if I don't have a lit match. That's kind of convenient, actually. Yeah, it's physics engine sucks. I'd rather the physics engine sucks than the optimization suck, though. Phys physics engine sucking is just kind of fun. <laughs> uh, what does the game want me to do now, anyways? I've looked around. What you want, game? What's that noise? It's upstairs. I better check. I did, though. Oh, did you want me to close the window? Maybe it wanted me to close the window. Yeah, it does. I'll hey, what are you doing here? This is private property. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me hop out the window and talk to you. Devil is he. I can't. Where are you going? Window, what are you what are you doing, Window? Just try to watch this guy. I know he's gonna disappear if I turn away. Window, please stop phasing into my face. Window. I wanna point out that window was doing it all on its own. Where the hell did he go? Hey! You still here? I better Wait. Look. Oh, that's nice. He lit our, he lit the well torch. What or lit what the well ladder for us. I can find something in there. That won't stop spazzing out. Speaking of physics glitches. Methinks the way this was attached to the pole was done by basically colliding two objects together, like the two 3D objects together, and that's why this is happening. <laughs> that ain't the wind, folks. <laughs> Alright, uh. Yeah, it's a common complaint in my Howler for an Hour series, and it's another complaint here. I don't get why game why developers think I need to add this effect rather than go, but if I add this effect, it might hurt performance for some players. Because it's like, a significant drop in it, like, can't they notice like, hmm, this uses far more C CPU load if I add this one effect. Hmm, maybe this one effect is not worth that. Strange. The light is coming from the inside, but the Maybe I can find something to cut through the chain. Wow, he sounded really confused. Like, there's light inside the building, but the door's locked? That's physically impossible! It's like, what? <laughs> also, the game ah! has this obnoxious desire to make me do every little action. <laughs> Every little act. Hold on. Every little action has to be done manually. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> Hi. Are you a dead person? How are you doing? Oh, there's matches there. I should have grabbed those. That's my father's hat. Fresh blood. The basement? Did he leave this as some kind of clue for me? I should look into it. But first, let's go to the blue void. Wh where am I? Uh-oh. Um. 
Um. I feel as if the game might have spawned me in a location that I should not be in. And that location may be in solid material of some sort. Explain the lantern's movements. The basement. I mean, I think I feel like our character was too efficient and immediately dug underground right where he is standing because he heard basement. <laughs> Fucking. All right. Slow last checkpoint probably placing us where we should be. Oh my god. I was really looking forward to this game. It looked like it really looked like it would be a good game. <sighs> I'm disappointed right now. All right, back here, that's fine. It's not too far. Why, why do you want to wager that happened? Oh, for fuck's sake. I sure love moving multiple heavy objects. Did have a bar bottom to the barrel, I didn't even realize that. I would say this is the bottom of the barrel, but there was no bottom to that barrel, so I can't say that. <laughs> That's my father's hat. I might have stood out of physics held space for a skip. I am out here now. Also, for a brief frame. I saw my character go flying through the wall, so, uh, yeah. Seems like post-cutscene, the game freaks out a bit. This time I just got flung out of the wall, which is much safer, because I'm still in bounds. Last time, I, what I think what happened last time is I got shot through the round. Alright, so anyways, I'm gonna get that match now. I'm gonna get that match now. Thank you. So I picked up a random object instead. What is this? Oh, kerosene. You know what it was? The blanket. The blanket? Oh no, you might be right. Or this bucket that's right under the table. That could have done it too. It's literally... Wow, I put it back exactly where it was. That bucket could have also done it. What the hell is this? What? Uh, terrible crime shocked the peaceful local community. The deputy sheriff called the end to confirm, called to the end, confirm the man's death. Jordan Norton had been considered missing the last few weeks. This assailant was exceptionally brutal. The victim's throat was slashed, and many other cuts and burns all over his body suggests prolonged torture. Oh, John Norton. Yeah, creator of Norton Antivirus. That explains why he was a gruesome murderer. I better go home. All right, then. Hi, dude. How you doing? My attitude when I see a horror monster? Hey there, I'm going to run up to you and talk to you. I am not intimidated. You must try harder to intimidate me. Pull out your candles. That's rude. However, I do have 36 matches, so... You know, moving up in the world. It does cost a it costs a candle light each. Fuck it, I'm not gonna light him. Waste my time, man. Wait, I just got an item. Huh. Right. So, what am I doing? Oh goodness me! Look at all the. I guess I'm trying to find a basement, so probably shouldn't go upstairs, I guess, but... Seems like the match is restocked, maybe, so I'm just looking again. All right, well. All right, there we go. So 
So where would a basement be if I was hiding? If I was hiding a basement somewhere, where would I put it? Possible pick up a candle? I mean, no. That would be a big brain move, though. <laughs> Granted, if you went outside with that, it would just, you know, go out. Yeah? Hello? This all, this open. Hmm. Hmm? How did. I opened the left stove portion and the right stove portion opened. All right. Sure, why not? How many fucking doors are in the stove? Too many. It takes forever to open this. You need to have a nice, efficient stove that makes you food fast. Not this shit. That door was stuck. At least the game's kind of behaving itself now. I'm not sure why. I'll take it though. Ooh. Spoon box. Spoon box! Are you about to eat? Don't forget your spoon box! Why, why is there a spoon box? It also... Honestly though, like, why? Don't do that, you're gonna cause more physics like. <laughs> the scariest thing the ghost can do is create performance loss. <laughs> also, I was too focused looking for items that it didn't really that didn't really get me. I got a little bit like a little bit startled, but I was like, oh. Hmm. Also, I don't know exactly what happened. The kitchen just exploded, I guess. I don't know. Localized shockwave occurred. Okay. Kinda weird when it appeared though. You think it would have happened sooner than that. Spoon box as seen on TV. Where did all this blood come from? Dear God. I don't think it's God's blood, actually, no. Alright, don't worry, I'm armed. <laughs> I'm armed, thus I am going to aid the, aim the blade directly at my face and have it about two inches from my eyeballs. This is the safest and most combatively uh, sound way to hold a knife. And woo! Alright, knock something off. Okay. Are you gonna make me undo all this shit? Alright, fine. Busy work. Busy work. I gotta do a bunch of busy work. Somebody's knocking. I don't care. I'm moving objects, so it's neither here nor there. There we go. Why am I saying it's part of a thing? Because I can. Yes, what do you need? Okay, okay, hold on. Oh. Wait, just, just give me a second. Just a second, alright. It's okay, I'm, I'm locking them, I'm closing them in so they can't- Haha! -ha! That door is available now. Alright, well we can leave. Uh, we can also... Look at this creepy painting. Look, he doesn't have eyes. Or he kind of does, but they're really deep in his head. Uh, we can also... What's this? Hmm. I mean, basement is, I suppose, fine. We can also leave, I guess. Front door actually locked when everything's shut, so... Alright, let me, um... Oh boy, howdy, I sure love moving random objects. Okay. Look, I get it, okay, if you need me to move an object, but could you put an object in a slightly less awkward position next time? I am legitimately just trying to rotate this damn thing. Can I not rotate this? Is it, is it, am I allowed to or something? I can't tell if I'm not allowed to rotate this, or I'm just doing this wrong. 
I feel as if I need to get to that door, but... I can't tell if it's stuck or if the game desire has intended me not to be able to move past a certain point. No, it's not stuck. Oh, no, it is. Nope, I can move it. It was just stuck. Yeah, this is dumb. <laughs> to be fair, you're shoving that awkward position. But to be counter fair, it was already in that position. I just moved it forward. It was already in a terrible, hard to turn around position right from the get go. Pretty sure, at least. Regardless, this was a very thin hallway to put that object in, you know? But there we go! Okay, this house is built. Oh, I hate that. I hate when two doors hit each other. Poorly built house. Alright, Dad, are you here and Dad? We'll see if this is a good idea. I'm sure it's not. Let's go. There's Buddy for Prince. And a lot of blood, actually. Oh. Hmm. Somebody was very bloody, and then they slid around the ground, and then they climbed the wall, and then they jumped off and flew out the window. Good for them. I figured out the forensics. Oh no, creepy. And you're not there. I hate that horror trope. Oh no, something passed in front of a hallway. I am going down, and then I turned down the corner, they went, and then they're not there! <laughs> I hate that horror trope. It's so fucking boring. It's so overdone. This. Can I read it? Kinda. See, if, uh, bankrupt. I feel like a lot of horror games are bankrupt in the idea department. At least this is running well. Now, finally. In advertisement. Hillside Inn. Oh, this was an end originally. Okay. I'm into that. Hmm. Hello there, obviously, secret path that I can't get down for some reason. I can't even, I can't move that, unfortunately. Uh... It's not the end. Oh, I'm sad now. I have more lamps. Lamps. I have more. I have more lamps. I have more matches than I do feel for my lamps. I'm just gonna use matches for a bit. Ooh, can I take that? All right. What scary spooky is gonna try to scare me and then fail miserably because I'm a Spook dog, and you gotta try fucking harder than that. Actually, are these. They are kerosene! I just. I don't automatically use them. I'm dumb. I can use it to refill the lamp. Oh, wait a minute. How do. Ah! You have to. You don't just automatically use it. That's fair. Okay. Well, I have a full lamp. May as well use it. I have a lot of kerosene in that case. I didn't even realize that. It doesn't drain very fast either. Can you pull the battles? The battles? Very right, cool, now I can actually use something less transient. Barrels! Ah. <laughs> I was very confused there for a second. Also, what time is it right now? Okay. I am half tempted to buy some delivery after this game. Also, out of curiosity, did I never set a timer for this? <laughs> I'm not... I was down... I'm not on the ball today, am I? <laughs> That's okay. I think for this game, I can find a natural break point. I right, did set a timer? Wait, did we spend an hour on this game already? I can't even remember. Oh, games teach me how to crouch. I figured that out earlier. Here's a real mystery I've never figured out. If... If... You know how some first-person games... Ooh, that's creepy. Uh, you know how some person first-person games... Some first-person games make C-crouch. Some first-person games make Control-crouch. In this case, Control lets me lift the lamp. Interesting. And what I always wonder to myself is... Why is it that nobody can agree on the crouch key? Some people say it's C. Some people say it's Control. Some people say it's X. Most people agree, like, spacebar is jump, wasted is move, 
but Crouch, nobody can, and, and you shift to sprint, but nobody can agree on Crouch for some reason. And I've never figured that out. Like, why, why is Crouch the point of contention when jump and sprint are never points of condition, contention, you know? Stop looking at me. All right, there you go. That's a little bit uncanny. I like that. It's a good picture. I mean, you can always change the controls just in most of these games I'm talking about, so it's not a huge deal, but like... Maybe there's another way in. Hmm, the giant metal vault. I'm sure there's another way into that. Obviously, there would be a lack of security. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, let me tap this repeatedly, I guess. Fuck you. What's this? Ooh. Shears. Is it like a weapon or damn it, I can't open it. Maybe there's something in my briefcase that would help get it open. I have to get in there. Whatever happened. I hope it's not my father's blood. Okay. <laughs> Delusional? It's just, it's just some sort of homeless guy. I don't know. It's just, it just doesn't look very scary. He did a slight scary thing, but all right. Like it gave me. What the hell is that? Looks like roots. I need to get rid of them before I leave the basement. Hmm. Tentacles, actually. Time to cut. Let me do it manually. Twice, probably. Is it really necessary to make me go through the actions? All right, there. He's upstairs. What does he want from me? He wants to jump scare you. There's nothing really else he's doing so far. Hello, jump scare man. Where are you today? Are you gonna pop out from this door? Gonna pop out from that door? Gonna pop out from that door? How about this door? Oh, we're starting to have drop some frames again. Once I hit another objective, I'll restart, I suppose, again. Has someone gone through my briefcase? Oh, that's rude. It's okay, I didn't take the key. Which goes to a door, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Boo! Boo! Who the hell are you? Okay, that's that guy's kind of creepy. Stay back. I like him. You hear me? Keep away! Oh, that's a, that was better. Oh shit! That was a bit better because instead of being a jump scare, instead of it was just like I'm really creepy and hi. Lick the forbidden licorice. <laughs> Just deep throughout the tentacle, it's fine. They like that. <laughs> yeah, it looks really, like, that's a good, you know. I didn't really care for all the jump scares before that, but, like, just having the guy approach like that, I approve that. A slow approach is, on my opinion, far more threatening. <laughs> also, yeah, what a fucking idiot, right? <laughs> This door opened not on my own. It's just uh, somebody else opened it. I should just stand there and look and see what happens. And then I freak out. Like, okay. Did we advance the time again? Yeah, but the frame rate... Again, the game didn't unload, so... Damn it, someone must have torn out the rest of the pages. Strange. I was in the attic and... I'll show the diary to Emma. She might find it interesting. But, uh, yeah, it's still laying here. Yep. So if I, if I were to continue, will it figure out its issue or not? Also, we haven't gotten to the point where it does this, but I know for a fact that eventually there's going to be combat and stuff. I just don't know where it is. But, uh, it's not the worst aside from the issues of the frames. It's just like when we're not having them, it's a little more. Show the diary to Emma. She might find it interesting. Nope, still bad. Gotta kill the entire game to stop it from. So that's that proves that it's not unloading things properly. If I can go back to the ti literal tile screen, 
literally unload the map and load the different map in or the same map in and it's still doing it unless I kill the game entirely. That just proves that it's a performance issue. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not, there's something wrong with the, CP, the, with the with the memory load. There's something wrong with how the game is running processes that it's just not unloading those processes. It may be unloading the maps, but something's still trying to run, I think, which is a shame. Because that, that performance loss is uh, pretty bad, especially when you have a game with a lot of objects, with a lot of things going on, a lot of trees moving around. If it was more efficient about how it handled that stuff, it probably would be fine, but it's not. So it shouldn't have that stuff. Um, but while this, there is eventually combat, from what I understand, I think I'm going to stop it there because we have gone over an hour for this game. That was the beast inside, and unfortunately... My boyfriend, when I told him about this, he told me, isn't that based on a book? And he told me, he told me what he, he, he when I mentioned, like, yeah, I think so. And he said, he, he said, games based on books usually suck. And, eh, I don't feel like he's entirely wrong here. Mostly on a performance level. The game itself is, it's all right so far. It didn't really impress me. I do like the guy's design to some degree, that, that swicky guy at the end uh, of chapter two, but it was throwing a lot of jump scares that instead of scaring me, actually was physically making me roll my eyes because it's just more of that stuff I mentioned before. Spookums need to be done well. Spookums need to be built up and they need to be, I don't know, creative, you know? Not just the same shit you see all the time. Literally, the first game we played for Haller tonight and this game, both did the same, oh, spooky thing, standing at the end of quarter and a quarter, and then it goes behind a quarter, and then when you get there, they're not there. Seriously. It's just so copy-paste sometimes. But, yeah, I don't know. This seems like it could be potentially good if you have a really powerful rig that doesn't care about the CPU load. Or you don't stream it. You don't run other programs while playing it. Probably would help. But as it stands, I'm not... It's better than a lot of horror games I'd say from its presentation aspect being higher quality um but still not really impresses me once we got to the gunplay it might be more interesting but I really don't want to play a game with more actually elements and aiming in first person if we're also going to be seeing frame loss because of performance that sounds like just a recipe for disaster so I'm gonna stop here that was the beast inside. Maybe it'd be better for you if you have a better system or just better circumstances or just perhaps more patience than me. But I'll stick with the beast inside me, not the beast inside this game. <laughs>